Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Artorias of the Abyss DLC. But before we do, I want to show everybody that I do have the rusted iron ring on. And I also put five more points into my vitality, endurance, strength, and dex. Before we go to the undead parish, let's go ahead and level up our Estus flask for the last time. See everybody at the Undead Parish. We're going to be running down to Dark Root Basin. We're going to have to traverse that... Uh, I don't want to call it a lake, but pond um to be able to get to the dlc that's why we need the rusted iron ring by the way i'm gonna forewarn everybody this is gonna be a very long video today and we're probably gonna face not probably we are going to face some of the hardest bosses in the game and enemies i'm most likely going to die to um a few of the bosses at least Artorius Artorius is quite a hard boss to beat but I have faith in everybody being able to overcome him he's actually a really fun boss just because of his I kind of want to say style of fighting but his move set is really cool lots of flips and spins and all that cool stuff. Very anime. Just run right past these guys. They're not worth killing. Unless you're trying to get um, blue titanite chunks. By the way, for the blue titanite slab that we skipped over in the duke's archives we'll be able to make up for it here in the dlc we'll be getting one fairly early into the dlc a matter of fact we're gonna grab uh dusk's attire right here And then we're going to touch this swirly black thing or whatever, black and purple thing. And we're going to head to the DLC. light this bonfire and then I'm going to put on the iron ring of protection uh, ring of steel protection sorry about that This boss that we're about to fight, you can cut their tail off. It's just kind of a pain in the ass to do so, so I don't ever bother with it. Of course, I say that it's a pain in the ass to do, and then I uh, end up cutting the tail off. 
it is a pain in the ass to do just because you have to wait for him to charge at you, dodge the charge, and then get behind him and hit the tail as it comes down. So we get the Guardian Soul and a Humanity. Grab another humanity here. We're going to light this bonfire and I'm going to kindle it three times. I'm probably going to do that to the majority of the bonfires here in the DLC just because things tend to kill you here. Or at least try to kill you here. Let's go ahead and talk to Elizabeth the Mushroom, see what she's got to say. Well, look at this one. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness, but Princess Dusk is here no longer. Snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Uraseel. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. She's got the same stuff as Dusk did, so we're not even going to bother buying anything. May the flames guide thee. I don't even think I bought anything from Dusk, just because, I don't know, I don't find her miracles very useful, or spells. We're going to come up over here. If you go straight down there, it'll lead you to a broken down tower. We're not going to go over there because that's where you open up a shortcut. You can get an item over there early if you want to. I'm not going to bother with it. We'll just get it when we open up the shortcut. Be careful for those guys. When they make the ground shake, that means they're about to do an AoE attack. Or area of effect for anybody that isn't sure what the abbreviation means. Come on. There we go. We only want to draw one of these guardians at a time. You don't want to fight multiple at the same time. It's asking for trouble. Oh, I did not roll in time. They do drop Twinkling Titanite fairly often. The Guardians, that is.
Come over here, bud. I don't lock on to these guys. It's just not worth it. Go ahead and heal. And then right here, we can get us a blue Titanite slab. And then if we come back this way, just kind of follow the edge here. Don't go down there. It's a trap. You're just going to get mobbed by these guys. The gardeners or whatever they are. Go ahead and let this guy run over there. There's going to be two up here that's going to fall down. Oh, I thought I could get the third one, but it's too slow. Ow, bastard. Really? They always hit me. I I don't know. I'm not really good with my timing on the on those guys. Let alone not to say that the claymore is slow, but it's definitely not the fastest weapon. Over here is our first piece of the guardian set. Get the guardian legs. And then we're going to see Calamie. We'll be fighting him a little later into the walkthrough or the episode. We should only have one more episode after this one. Because I am wanting to deplete, deplete. Complete, not deplete. Oh my goodness, this crystal lizard. Can you die, please? Thank you. Um, complete the DLC all in one go. That's why we're going to have a long video today. We have a lot to complete and, or well, get done. Complete. I don't know what I'm talking about today. I don't think I ever know what I'm talking about <laughs> on any day. Be careful. We have two stone guardians over here. We want to take one out at a time. We got one off in the distance over there, and then we have one over here. We just wait for him to come to us. That way we don't aggro both of them at the same time, and then we're having to do some quick maneuvering. Ah, perfect. So whatever they do that, they're just going to stand there, look around like idiots while you smack them in the face. Get the guardian armor. Then we can come over here. Get ourselves. I think his name's Goth. I like to lure him over here. I don't like fighting these guys at the edge. It's very, very easy to fall off these edges here. Lots and lots of twinkling titanite here. So if anybody has like special weapons that they're like, I want to try this one or I want to try this one. And you have multiple of them that you like to try out. This is the place to farm all your twinkling titanite. Be sure to jump over this. It's easy to make a mistake and fall to your death. Get the guardian helm. I know I didn't men mention it earlier, but also be sure to jump 
over here where we where we came over here the first time be sure to jump i know that it looks like it's solid right there but it it is not don't make a mistake and just go walking and then again fall to your death <laughs> just repeating everything huh there we go Take him out. Grab ourselves an item. And then we want to just sprint this way. We're going to have another crystal lizard. There's only one crystal lizard I really do not bother with in this DLC. And it's just because it's a pain in the ass. If something's like just obnoxiously a pain to do, I don't even bother with it. Kind of like in the Duke's archives with the Avalon and stuff. It's just, I don't know. To me, it's not worth it, unless you're PvPing, and then sure, get the Avalon. Um, I don't know. Just be sure to draw this guy back over here where it gets wide, so that that guardian over there will start backing up and de-aggro. It'll make things a whole lot easier, I promise. Some more Twinkling Titanite. Come up and around here. We get the soul of a proud knight. Over there is the tower that I was talking about. Is a shortcut. We go over there in just a moment. First, let's finish up over here. So far, we've been doing good, but we also have not faced Knight Artorius yet. And he, my friends, is a beast. Pretty cool cutscene, too. Grab ourselves a soul. By the way, you can grab the items off of these guys. They just drop the blood moss clumps, the purple moss clumps, and the blooming purple moss clumps. So just the same as the other guys in the dark root garden and basin. Let's go through here. Head down this elevator. Doesn't matter if you send this one up or not. Over here, by the way, is another uh, shortcut. But we won't be getting that until much, much later into the walkthrough. Or into the episode. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and talk to Chester. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Did you happen across Knight Artorias, the legendary abyss walker from the old tales? Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> so... What did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> He's got a lot of things to sell. But the only thing I want from him is two homeward bones. So long.
We're going to take this elevator up. This is, again, that tower I was talking about. From the sanctuary, if you follow the wall up this way, it'll lead you straight to this tower. And then an easy shortcut back to the boss, which we're probably going to need. So I'm going to send it right back up. I will cut out my deaths, but I will show you when I actually beat the boss. I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to get him on the first try. I just, <laughs> his boss is pretty hard. Let's go ahead and go through the fog wall and see the cutscene. He's got a lot of jumping attacks, a lot of spinning attacks. Be careful for that flip. That flip will fuck you up. We're just going to stay topped off, though. I rolled too soon. Again. Sometimes he'll flip a third time too, so be wary of that. Yeah, he's gonna power up there. No. Nope. Maybe not. Oops. Now he's going to do his thing. I hate that move. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe I beat him on my first try. Ugh, he is a struggle. That went way better than I thought. That is for sure. We're going to come over here. Again, we're going to pop ourselves three humanities. We can be pretty liberal with these and just use them as much as we want. Once we get a little further into the episode, there is a great place to farm humanity. Just using the Golden Covetous uh, Serpent Ring and the just having 10 um, humanity on you. They'll drop like candy. We're going to backtrack a little bit. Over here is a PvP area. So if you're playing online and you want to PvP people, this is like a coliseum you can PvP in. Pretty cool. We're not online, obviously, so we're not going to bother with it. We're just going to backtrack over here and... Go down. 
the stairs, grab a few items, and see Calamite again. We have these annoying dogs. We're going to fight them one time when we come through here. The next time, we're just going to run and hope we don't get hit. The real challenge will be if we can beat Manus without dying. Manus is pretty difficult too, but in my opinion, I think Artorius is way harder than Manus. But Manus is pretty hard too, so... Not saying he's a chump. Wow, we both missed like twice. <laughs> I don't know if these are like rat dogs or what. They are weird looking. Right here we're going to see Calamite. Just going to fly by. If we come over here by this waterfall... We can drop down on top of a crystal lizard right there. And then we're going to use a homeward bone. All right. Now let's continue our journey here. Oh, I forgot about the guy behind us. Oopsie poopsies. So, normally you come down these stairs, and then you smack this guy that's hiding, and then you grab that item. That item is just there to lure you. These guys can hurt, too. Um, just be careful. We'll be opening up this elevator shortly. Just not yet. Just another shortcut, just in case you die or something. These guys drop a uh, large Titanite, and they'll also drop their head. So, get a new headpiece as well. Be careful for those mage guys. They are assholes. They hurt. They can poison you. All kinds of good stuff. Real quick, we're going to pull our bow out. We're going to shoot that guy right there. We're going to walk down just a little ways. And the Marvelous Chester invades us. Why? I have no clue why he invades us. But we're going to fucking kill him later. Get his attire. He's got some pretty cool um, attire in my opinion. Over here, we're going to drop down. Grab ourselves a soul. And then right here is that crystal lizard I don't even bother with. It's not worth my time. Right here, if we put on the sunlight maggot, we can open up a hidden door. Grab ourselves the Silver Pendant. You can use the Silver Pendant on Manus whenever you're fighting him. If he does a spell or whatnot, you um, use the Silver Pendant and it will or deflect, not reflect, uh, deflect the spell that he used. This is where we want to be careful. We got those mage guys. Might get hit. Yeah, we got hit. That's okay. One hit is fine. They drop green Titanite. And they can also drop their head as well. Go back up these stairs. Come out this doorway. Go to the right. And we have one just staring off into the abyss. Okay. 
killing them gives the I'm sorry carving. You can use those to literally say I'm sorry and whatnot. It's pretty cool. I like them. There's a few of them you can get. We're going to head back up the stairs here. And we're going to roll off onto this platform. What I like to do here, this is a mimic, by the way. We're not going to fuck with the mimic just yet. What I like to do here is I like to shoot this guy or lady, whatever it is. There we go. I thought it was going to hit me for a second. That's why I rolled. And then we're going to go ahead and take care of this mimic. It's pretty sneaky because you can't tell from the chain. I think that's really sneaky of FromSoft. But we're going to get the very good carving. And killing that sorcerer, sorceress, whatever it is, is going to make getting over here a whole lot easier. Too soon. And over here. Pick up some rubbish. Guy's gonna drop down. Kill him. Heal yourself. We're gonna run and jump off these stairs. And hopefully it will work. And it did not. I missed, but normally you run, jump off those stairs, and you can get a plunging attack on top of that guy. Go ahead and aggro these guys. Be careful. There's another sorcerer shooting stuff at you. We're going to shoot down that body first. There we go. So that body was hanging up top there. We shot it down to um, send the item down, obviously. Oh, you bastard. Get dark fog off the body. Get another green titanite shard from this guy. And then come over here, grab ourselves an item, we're going to be using the sunlight maggot again in just a moment. Let's go ahead and put it put on the sunlight maggot. Opens up a door. If we come over here, we're gonna get a chest. And all that for a red titanite chunk. So up to you if you really want to do it. In my opinion, not really worth it. Over here, we can run. Jump through this little archway. And then right here is another mimic. And you can kind of see the chain this time. And you can see its mouth move a little bit. But either way, let's kill it. 
This mimic's important because it's going to allow us to open up a door here in just a bit. Get the crest key. Here on the left is a guy hiding. Take him out. Right here is a uh, ladder. We don't need to go down it. That's where the sorcerer guy was. Um, we already knocked down the body and got the item and killed the sorcerer. So no need to go down that ladder. Get some twin humanities. Very carefully come down here. So the elevator that I was talking about earlier when we got into the Ulaseal Township. This is that elevator. We don't need to go up it. Unless we die, then it's a different story, though. Should have another guy aggroing. He didn't want to, so I went over to him. This is how I like to do this, because there, there's offset sometimes. Okay. And then we get like one enemy that's like this and usually it will drop the chain attire, the, the chain mail. But it's the only enemy in the game that is like this. You never see this enemy again. Just right here. So we get the chain helm. You can get the full set from them if you keep coming back and killing them. Let's go ahead and light this bonfire. Then we're going to pop two humanities and kindle this bonfire as well. Let's go ahead and warp back to, well, warp over to the Ulaseal Township, not back to it. See everybody over there? We're going to veer off to the right here. We're going to meet a really cool giant. Really like this guy. This is Hawkeye Goff that we're going to be talking to. I think his name is Goff. Even though it's not um, spelt with an F, it's got the uh, F sound to it. Don't ask me. I didn't make the names. Visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am, retired and blind. A little help to thee, I'm afraid. 
we can purchase a few items from him. Pretty basic stuff. Um, beside his, besides his uh, great arrows and his carvings. So we can get the hello carving and the thank you carving. Let's go ahead and talk to him a few times. The dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them... We lost three score of our own. Exhilaration. Pride. Hatred. Rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. At our twilight, old thoughts return. In great waves of nostalgia. Me, there's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Farewell, human. Lead thy life as thou seest fit. We're going to go ahead and talk to him one more time. Good morrow. Is the black dragon posing the duress? Yes. I thought as much. He's called Calamit. Ferocious dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. <laughs> What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see how Goth hunts dragons. shot was never loosed. That bat will be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah, dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest calling. Go over to Calamite. We're going to talk to this NPC and give her Artorius's soul. You. Is that not... The soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. May the Lord guide thee.
We're gonna run past all these rat dogs or whatever they are. Once you hit that fog door, you get some iron frames going through it, so you don't have to worry about getting hit by them. Slide down this ladder and get ready for a boss fight. You can cut the tail off of Calamite. Again, I'm not going to aim for it. I just got lucky with the Guardian, the Sanctuary Guardian. Calamite is a lot harder to get his tail. He does not like to bring that thing down at all. Run backwards. When he flies up in the air like that, just run. It means he's going to try to... I didn't have enough time to react to that. get a heal off oh my goodness it's messed me up everybody it's making me look like a punk do not get hit by that whatever you do do not get hit by that Run again. Gonna use his fire. Oh my goodness, I can't even get up. Run. <laughs> as soon as I heal. He's like, you thought you were healing, bud? Nah. Just barely outran that. There we go. There's Calamite. We get the Calamity Ring from Calamite. That ring will make every enemy hit harder. Um, it just makes the game harder. So if the game wasn't hard enough for you, put that on. We got a Titanite Slab, by the way, from that chest. And we are going to use a Homeward Bone to head back to the Ulysseal Dungeons. I know I said I was going to kill Chester, but um, all you get from killing him is his attire. If you want his attire, go ahead and kill him. I'm not going to bother with it. I, I kind of thought about it. I was like, ah, eh, it's not worth it. Let's go ahead and use a Homeward Bone. Let's 
let's go through here. We're going to have a Crystal Lizard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am the worst at hitting those things today. Be careful. We have quite a few of these guys along with a Sorcerer. I would pull them back. That was all luck. All luck. And just kind of use this Stagnite or whichever it is. Stalagnite or... I'm not sure. I know there's two names for them. One face is up, one face is down. Oh my goodness. That was very close. I hate this area just because it's dark. Kind of like the Tomb of the Giants. Just not as bad as the Tomb of the Giants. You get Dark Bead. So if you want, then you're like, ah, I'm not using sorceries or, or magic of any kind. I wouldn't even bother going over there. It's just a mess. Probably going to use my humanity to heal. That way I can have enough Estus for the boss fight. I'm going to hop down here. See Alvina. See Alvina again. These humanity, or well, big humanities, drop humanity. Awesome place to farm humanity down here. They drop it pretty regularly, and especially if you have the gold covetous serpent ring and um, at least 10 um, humanity on you. Right here, if we hit that, Gonna open up a hole. Before we go over there, we want to send this elevator up. That elevator opens up the shortcut that's right there in front of um, Artorius's boss fight arena. I would say it's the easiest way to get back to, but. I don't know. Seems like the bonfire that is right here in the Ulysseal dungeons is just fine for getting back to the boss if you die. Get some twin humanities. Yeah, they do also have a chance to drop twin humanities too, so... We, sa uh, we save Sif. The Great Grey Wolf is a lot tinier because he's a lot younger. We get the Cleansing Great Shield. Pretty sweet shield. Just really heavy. We're going to come out here. We're going to follow this um, Prism Stone right here. We're going to go up first. We're going to end up circling back around. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to equip my Humanity and the Silver Pendant. I'm not sure if I'll use the Silver Pendant. But I am going to use my Humanity to heal myself. Like I said, I, I want to make sure that I have enough Estus to fight the boss. He is pretty tough. He's definitely got a Wombo combo that'll fuck you up. <laughs> and I mean that in the, in the best way. He, he's got a fucking crazy combo. If 
fuck out of here. A man of her. Yeah, they'll go right through you like they're ghosts. And just... Harm you. Get some more humanity. This is the best place right here where I was killing them. To kind of farm the humanity. Just keep going back and forth from the bonfire to uh, this area here. We get another carving. The help me carving. You want to aim off to the left and roll. Do not just fall down. You'll end up falling to your death. I promise. And a humanity, using a humanity will fill your health all the way. So you don't have to worry about using multiple of them. Well, I mean, unless you get hurt, hurt again, then yeah, sure. you got to use multiple. But that should be without saying. Oh my goodness. Big boy. Just want to kill you. We'll grab this other humanity too that got dropped. And then we'll go back up top. And we circled back around. The only way to get those items is to fall off over there. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that sorcerer falling down. I was like, ah, did I miss an enemy? So yeah, to get those two items, you have to drop down over there where we fought all those humanities at. Pick up some twin humanities. Pick up a white titanite slab. So if you needed an extra one. I hate the small ones because they're a little harder to hit. get a soul and then let's go ahead and heal ourselves one more time and then we're going to take the humanity off that way we can just have the silver pendant and the uh estus on us let's go ahead and traverse the uh white light and start a cutscene. Let's summon in Sif real quick and immediately get hit. And immediately get hit again, even though I totally dodged. Stay by Sif. He can help get aggro. Even though he's backing up. Sif, you better come help me. Oh my goodness. K 
cannot cut off his tail and get anything. Holy fuck a moly, man. He's on a whole nother level today. Sif's like, you got this, bro. You don't need my help. He didn't even give a shit about Sif. He's like, Pff, what, this? This puppy? Fuck him. I'm just continuously falling into the same trap here. As I'm like trying to roll. We might not get him this time. I feel like I'm pretty rusty on him. Do not get grabbed by him. And that's his wombo combo. Oh, pff, walked right into it. I thought I was going to be able to roll. Sif, come on, do something, man. There's that wombo combo you don't want to get hit by. Even though it really didn't do that much damage to me. There's Manus. And wherever he falls, Princess Dusk is going to uh, fall. Let's go ahead and listen to her dialogue. We also get 10 humanity. And that's all she does. She just cries and lays there. Oh, and we got the soul of Manus. I'm sorry, I didn't um, say that. Let's go ahead and light this bonfire. We surprisingly did not die to any of the uh, bosses in this area. Um, good luck to everybody. <laughs> they are very hard. We're going to head back to Firelink Shrine and then end the video. I'll see everybody there. All right, everyone, I want to start by saying thank you very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.